Hello everyone, this is Nightyush here, and today, let's talk about Mortal Kombat 3, UMK3, and MK Trilogy. More, su more specifically though, I want to talk about why I'm not going to be LPing either of these games on my YouTube channel. But first, let's talk about the story a little bit. So, there is some interesting stuff here, because, uh, unfortunately, Raiden is not playable in this game, which really sucks that my favorite character isn't playable. Ugh. We'll get into why he's not playable later, because, uh... Spoiler alert, I have a feeling it wasn't just because of story reasons. In fact, I think that's why a lot of characters were in the original version of MK3, but again, we'll get into that momentarily. So, basically, what happens is Shao Kahn has figured out a loophole, loophole in uh, Mortal Kombat. He's tired of failing all the time. You know, he's failed twice now because uh, Liu Kang keeps winning. But here's the thing. He has a queen that is reborn on the Earth, which means he is allowed to step through the dimensional gates to go claim her. And uh, in doing so, he basically uh, takes over as well. So why the other gods are allowing this, I don't know. But uh, whatever the case, I probably shouldn't be bringing up the elder gods since they don't really play a big part in the story till uh, MK4 and so on. But uh, whatever the case, basically Shao Kahn is, taking o is starting to take over the Earth. It's starting to form Outworld and Earth Realm together. And basically he's doing bad stuff and here's gotta go stop him. So that's the basic plot of Mortal Kombat 3. To say it's not a bad idea, it is is an understatement. You know, it actually is a decent idea in my opinion, but uh, I'm just gonna say like it is, I don't think it's anywhere near as good as MK2's plot personally. You know, with MK2 you had a whole new world going on, you know, outworld, you know, there's so much, you know, different things going on so many new things that they could experiment with because you know it's a whole different dimension from ours so they could do whatever the hell they want with it with this it feels a little bit too familiar in my opinion if that makes sense you know you're fighting on streets and whatnot i granted those cities are pretty destroyed and whatnot thanks to shao Kahn's extermination squads and whatnot but to me it just feels a little bit too familiar you know it's not like mortal kombat 1 where it made sense because you're on an island that's you know very uh, Asian, you know, Japanese martial arts themed. This, on the other hand, just feels like, you know, you're in New York City, Chicago, wherever. So, to say the aesthetics doesn't really please me that much is an understatement. But uh, it's time to get into the real reason why I'm not LPing Mortal Kombat 3. It is way, and I mean way, too hard. Like, seriously. This is by far one of the hardest games I've ever played for all the wrong reasons. So you guys might remember I complained before about uh, Mortal, Kombat 2, or Mortal Kombat 2's arcade difficulty. Well, guess what? There was an easy fix to that. Play the Super Nintendo version. Play the Genesis version. Play one of the home console versions that were poured by Acclaim and made the difficulty a lot easier. Thank you. So people like me that don't want to spend hours upon hours mastering this crap can still play and have fun. But then you got Mortal Kombat 3, which is ported to home consoles by Williams Entertainment, basically uh, Midway's uh, parent company or whatever. Basically their other company. And uh, to say they fucked up the ports horribly is an understatement. I mean, I don't mean they fucked them up in like a technical stance. The games look and play fine. But they kept the arcade difficulty. Why the fuck would you do that? The best thing about the Super Nintendo version and the Genesis versions were that they were playable for people that, you know, aren't the best at fighting video games. But here, no. It's out to get all your credits, despite the fact that you're not actually putting quarters in your game console. So, unlike Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 1, there is no easier version of Mortal Kombat 3. It doesn't matter if you're playing the arcade version, it doesn't matter if it's the Genesis version, it doesn't matter if it's the Super Nintendo version, the Saturn version, the PS1 version, the Midway Arcade Treasures 2 version I'm showing you guys right now. It does not fucking matter. No matter what, the game is really hard for newbies, and in my opinion, it's not even worth trying to master, okay? It's not trying worth trying at all. You know, seriously. You know, I suck at fighting games. I'm willing to admit that. But, you know, you guys saw with Mortal Kombat 2, I could at least still get through it just fine. But with this, I can't even beat the game without losing a bunch of lives and wasting my time. And in my opinion, it doesn't matter if you memorize the combos or not, okay? I actually memorize some of the combos and whatnot, and I still get my ass kicked every time. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, and I don't care to know what I'm doing wrong, okay? Because why would I play a game that frustrates the hell out of me? Why? 
So obviously the main reason I'm not playing Mortal Kombat 3 is because of the difficulty. But there are a few other things I want to address too that I also don't like. Number one being the combo system. Oh my god, I hate this fucking combo system. What the fuck were they thinking with this shit? Seriously. So remember Mortal Kombat 2 where combos were really simple and easy to pick up and understand. Like with Reptile, you just throw a force ball, maybe do a jump kick and a slide, and then there you go. Easy 3 at combo. Now all of a sudden, you gotta utilize the run button. Yes, there is a run button in this game. I would criticize that, but you gotta remember this was before, you know, Tekken really mastered it with just, you know, double tapping, double tapping forward and then you'd run into people and whatnot. So this was before it was perfected, so I can understand that. But here's the problem with that. You're expected to use the run button to do combos. So you gotta run to people and then hit, you know, high punch, high punch, high kick, high kick, whatever. Which, guess what? That just means more memorization. Oh, goody. I already can't memorize all the special moves. Now I'm supposed to memorize all these combos too? And all these fatalities and whatnot? It's like, it's too much to memorize. I can't even memorize all the moves in Mortal Kombat 2. So that's just strike number two. Strike number three as to why I'm not helping this game. If it hasn't been obvious already, I'm terrible at this game. In case you haven't noticed yet, I'm not showing any gameplay of me playing. Why? Because I'm really that bad. I can get past the first opponent, maybe the second opponent, and that's about it. I have beaten this game before just once, and that's the only time I ever plan on beating this game. I never, ever plan on beating this game more than that one time I did, because seriously, this game just drives me crazy. It's like Donkey Kong Country 3 in a way. Another game I'm not looking forward to LPing one day. You know, I there's just something about that, I, you know, it, I just don't like it. That's, that's the simplest way I can put it. I really don't like this game. I really don't want to play it, so put, to put it simply, I'm not going to be LPing it. So I'm, I'm sorry if you guys want to see me go through Mortal Kombat 3, UMK3, or Mortal Kombat Trilogy, but unfortunately, they're all kind of the same. Mortal Kombat Trilogy does have an auto uh, combo system, which can help a little bit, but that doesn't change the fact that the AI is still broken beyond belief and really difficult to beat. So, unlike Mortal Kombat 2 where I could figure out the pattern and whatnot and beat the arcade version of that... With Mortal Kombat 3, UMK3, MK Trilogy, I never understood the pattern that you're supposed to figure out. So, unfortunately, that's the number one reason why I'm not going to be doing this game, guys. Because even if I was good at this game, the simple truth is I still don't like the combo system. And I still don't like the cheap AI. In my opinion, the AI is a million times harder than Mortal Kombat 2's will ever be. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me on that. But seriously, with Mortal Kombat 2, I can at least master it. This, on the other hand, no matter how many videos I watch, I just don't get it. So I must be missing something. But I don't want to end this all on a negative note, okay? Because Mortal Kombat 3 does do some things right. Number one, the soundtrack is amazing. Another good thing they did is they introduced some great characters. My personal favorite being Cabal, because uh, Cabal is awesome. Very underrated character in my opinion, and I do like his backstory basically being a former Black Dragon member with Kano, but then he was attacked by one of Shao Kahn's extermination squads and survived, so then he decides to turn over to a new leaf and become a good guy, so I like that about Cabal. Exactly why I don't like how they fuck up his story later, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. They also introduced Cyrax and Sector, which yes, I know it's a little weird seeing some robots in this game in a Kung Fu style fighting game, but you gotta remember guys, this is Mortal Kombat we're talking about, you know? We're talking a game where different worlds exist, you know, where there's our world, then there's Outworld, where literally there's flying dinosaurs or where the hell those birds were in the Combat Tomb of MK2. You know, there's freaking monsters with giant teeth in their mouth that have blades in their arms called Tharkatans. In my opinion, it's really not that far out there. It's a little weird. But it's, you know, it, it's easy to get used to, in my opinion, especially by MK Deadly Alliance. And it also in introduces one of the most hated characters in the series, Curtis Stryker. Which I'm just going to come out and say now, I like Curtis Stryker. He's a cool-ass character, in my opinion. Oh, but he wears his baseball cap backwards. So, I wear my hat backwards and nobody complains about that. Seriously. It's fine, whatever. So now there's some cool new characters like Cabal and the Cyborgs and Curse Striker and Nightwolf. 
But there's also some changes to the current characters, like Sub-Zero now decides to go maskless to better distinguish himself as, you know, his own man, rather than, you know, his brother that died in MK1. And there's also Jax who gets metal arms now. Why does he get metal arms, you ask? Well, it depends on which version of Mortal Kombat you're playing. I don't mean to give spoilers, but let's just say eventually the timelines are going to change up a bit, and the reason he has metal arms will change. But in this timeline that we're currently in, he basically just decided to make him stronger to take on Shao Kahn and his forces. So, yeah, just, it's kind of a generic reason. In my opinion, he never needed the metal arms. I much prefer his regular ones, but uh, whatever. It's his life, he can do what he wants, right? Now, as far as what the canon ending is, the canon ending is that Liu Kang wins once again. Big shocker, I know. Liu Kang saves the world again. But some of the other endings are canon as well, believe it or not. Like Kung Lao's ending is canon, unfortunately. I won't spoil it here, but uh, let's just say it gives a good reason why he's on Mortal Kombat 4. And uh, I think uh, Cyrax's ending, you know, reveals some story at least, but it's not whole canon or whatever. But then you may be asking, where the hell is Scorpion? Where the hell is Reptile? Where the hell is Katana? Where the hell is Melita? Where are all these classic characters that we loved? Why is Liu Kang played by a new actor? Why is Shang Tsung played by a new actor? Where's Johnny Cage? Well, to answer that question, Johnny Cage was killed by Motaro. Yeah, that piece of shit. Fuck you, Motaro. Fuck you, Motaro. Seriously, I hate that piece of shit. Never again will I ever fight his ass in Mortal Kombat 3. Trust me. Fuck him. So, why was Johnny Cage killed off and on in the game, you ask? Well, my personal guess is because Daniel Piscina, a bunch of the original actors, left midway after this and they had to replace him. Which could explain why Scorpion isn't in the game. It could explain why uh, Raiden's not in the game. Though Carlos actually didn't leave. I believe he's actually being punished because, uh, let's just say, his brother Daniel Piscina, you know, left the company and uh, didn't add for a competitor's game. Yeah. So, I always imagined that was just his punishment for that, despite the fact that I had nothing to do with that. You know, they're, they're brothers, you know. He's not in control of what his brother does, but uh, I'm not here to get into that debate. So, some of the original actors left, and uh, they had to replace him. And my only guess is that's why they brought him back in UMK3, because they finally found new actors that can betray Reptile and uh, Classic Sub-Zero. And some new characters that we'd see, too, like Jade and Air Mac and Noob Saibot and Human Smoke. Although Human Smoke wasn't a new character, he was just new playable. But, uh, yeah, so, that's Mortal Kombat 3, Mortal Kombat Trilogy... UMK3 in a nutshell for you. I know I didn't cover everything, but I really don't see any reason to cover everything. If you guys are really that curious, it's not that hard to find playthroughs of UMK3, MK3, or MK Trilogy on here. It's not that hard to just go to the Wikipedia page and look up which endings are canon either, so... Yeah. But speaking of endings, I want to finish this video with Shao Kahn's ending in Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Because, oh my god, that is the single greatest ending in video game history. I have to show it off. Oh my god, that that is the single greatest video game ending I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. Clap it up, guys. That is a true piece of artwork right there. The Mona Lisa has nothing on that. That belongs in museum. That should be how every video game ends. That right there. Oh my god, that is enough to bring tears to a grown man's eye. Oh, what a beautiful ending. So, that's why I'm not going to be LPing Mortal Kombat 3, UMK3, or Mortal Kombat Trilogy. So, again, I apologize if you guys wanted to see that, but unfortunately, it's not going to happen. So, that leaves the question. Will I be LPing Mortal Kombat 4? Hmm. Maybe.